All right, boys, back to the bracket. Here it is. Game number three. We beat Shot Cray. We beat Pogue Vision, 17 seed. Now we're going to face Chaz, who knocked off Hammer Pants, who knocked off 48 seed, knocked off an 81 seed. So two underdogs went at it. Hammer Pants I've played a million times on Xbox. Uh, definitely been playing for a long time. So Chaz has won these games. So he's definitely hot right now. Let's see what he got, boys. All right, boys, game number three. We're hot. This is finally the round of 62. This is starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. It started with 250 people. We're down to 64 people on Xbox. Got to play my best, man. If you like these videos, you guys have been showing mad love. Like, comment. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into this gameplay. Uh, we got to play better. Every game, I feel like you got to keep playing better because your competition is going to get better. It's going to get tougher. It's going to be, you know, tougher to play. So, Got to cut out those mistakes. Got to continue to grind and got to continue to uh, keep playing well, man. Stay focused uh, and one game at a time. Let's get into it, boys. You guys have been showing love on this format, how I do these sweatier games. So let's do it. You know, uh, I get the ball first. That's always, or he gets the ball first. That's always a dub. I've honestly been getting the ball or kicking off. Here, where I check his, I check his abilities. What does he have? Short route knockout, medium knockout, medium. Uh, so pretty much is standard things that you guys see nowadays. So for me a Little inside shade action pretty much what we all have. He's got an inside stuff and he's got a nasty streak So I don't know what he's gonna do with that. He might be getting nasty. Who knows? I'm a little afraid of that uh, We see trips now normally Trips the type the running backs on the other side. This is actually Kansas City trips now uh, it's kind of tough, really, because you have those four wide receiver or four options, four receivers on the left. You can't run match against that. Um, so it's definitely a, a formation I haven't seen a lot. I want to see an inside zone here. Picks up a couple yards, so uh, we definitely got to play the run this game. Um, and normally I would flat the running back on the trip side. We have a lot of experience playing against trip side end, but this trip side end. With the running back on on the the trip side, a little bit tougher as he gets another run here. He's going to no huddle right to the line. You see, he's got Moss, Andre Reed, Justin Jefferson. So definitely uh, got every player acquired here. Ooh, Holland, I manned up on the running back. We got a fourth and inches here early. Now, I'm not a big gambler early in the game, especially on fourth and short. Never going to like run commit or never going to like sell out right here because even if he gets his first down, he's not in scoring position or anything like that. So. Uh, and hopefully, if he runs, we're going to get a shed somewhere. And, ooh. Ah, Ronnie Lott, I got to move you not as far. See where I put Ronnie? I moved Ronnie Lott. You see right there, I moved Ronnie Lott down so he's more in the box. So now we have, what, seven people right here in the box. And you see it almost worked. Like, it almost, Ronnie Lott almost, he's right there with me. I take the A gap, and if he would have took the B gap, I guess. You know, he just kind of ran right where I ran, you know, and... And he was able to get him. But he probably would have got that first anyway. Gets the first down. So three, uh, two runs, a pass to the running back. Right here, he audibles to a bunch strong. I'm going to, I'm gonna once again, you're going to see me probably third to outside for a corner route. Yes, exactly. Same thing. I got any crosser coming across. And you see the corner route is absolutely bagged. He's going to take off with Hurts and throw the ball away. That's what. That's how I stop corner routes. Um, They're in my sub tips if you guys are subbed on the Twitch. They're in my Discord, everything like that. So... Uh, that's definitely how I do it. Right here, we have great coverage. We're going to go underneath. He's going to go up top and moss me. And Parham is going to take it to the crib. Oh, my God. I got I, I like The thing with these passes is you kind of got to be ready to click on. Like I'm, and, and, you know, when you're in the final 32 of a big tournament, man, you're not really expecting a dude to just fade. Like, this not even open. He's just face throwing. But that's what kind of mutt is now. You know, and Moss just wasn't tall enough and then didn't make the tackle. That's the worst part. You give up a 30-yard game, but then don't make the tackle. That's kind of like insult to injury for the most part. So we're down seven, but I don't feel I, – I gave up a cheap touchdown. I didn't get dotted. I didn't feel overwhelmed. I just gave up a cheap touchdown. So we definitely got to, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't really know what else you could do to par him. I like Moss. That's why I have Moss in that spot to guard the tight ends and trips tight end because he's six foot. He can go get the ball if it's thrown up. So I, I like that matchup if he keeps trying me. Here he's in three three five, but he's baseline. Not a lot of people baseline. We'll see what he goes to. I would I would assume it's zone, and it is. It's a little cover four right here. 
and we're able to get this corner route because we ran a streak to run off all the deep blue zones. That's what you got to do if you get struggling against cover two and cover three or cover four. Take B Jefferson on a streak. He's going to run all four, all two of those cover four zones deep down the field. Or Moss might have been in like a 30-yard purple or something. But you want to run a streak, then the corner route if you're struggling against zone. Here I'd do a similar thing. Motion out. We were actually looking for the post over the middle, but we got shedded here. And he's going to do... Oh, he... Yeah. So we had to step up and the contain got me. But I saw I had Devante, so I like that a lot. So he's got a different look. It's definitely the 335 loop, but he's base aligned. He's looping off the left here. I probably could have had Parham there, but I didn't like it and throw the ball away. It just surprises me that someone would play tight man coverage and baseline. So what that means is that all his, his corners on the outside are actually manned up on Adams and Jefferson. So they're in terrible position to, like, make plays, you know. So for me, as I take off of Rodgers here, I slide. Uh, oh, this is a tough decision. Man. It is. And how I had I got dominated in the first half, I'm, or the first quarter, the first drive, I might have went for this. But I'm going to kick because I trust my defense. I don't think this guy, if you ran inside zone or something like that, it's nothing I haven't seen. So I feel like I can hold him. Just get some points on the board, keep fighting, extend the game. Big tackle by Ronnie Lott there. So like I said, I feel good about against this set. Uh, just got to stop the run, really. That's what's been popping me. And here he's going to get the ball off again. Come on, Camp Chancellor. Man, Dog shit, man. A little bit too slow right there, and he gets a big what gain. His first big gain run inside my territory past the 50. And here he's going to run an option. And I did not see that coming at all. I can't lie. Picks up 25 more yards. That got me. So inside zone around the edge and an option. Uh, and he's in field goal range. So that's tough. Definitely tough. Uh, but, you know, now I saw he has an option. So I'll go change my option. Now, if you guys ever run into this, trips with the running back on the trip side make sure you put your option on conservative that way you still you i do that because now i treat every run the same i go get the running back i don't have to wait if it's inside zone or wait if it's option i'm going to get the running back so i put my option on on conservative so my computer gets the quarterback that's pretty much my goal really i don't want to have to chase the quarterback let the computer do that and i'll go get the running back in every single situation here we're going to go man coverage, little hook curl, little third just to guard the uh, any corner routes and Moss. Like, Moss is getting Moss is like... getting whooped. Man coverage, I expect Moss to cover. The running back was really OP last year in routes, out routes, everything. This year not so much. They kind of get covered up in man coverage pretty well. So we got to hold right here. We do a great job. We're going to click off our user, get a sack. We got to hold him to 3 here, man. We got a free touchdown on on with Parham on the first drive. Couple runs got him in the scoring position this drive, but we cannot let him touch the paint, man. We're definitely uh, backs against the wall a little bit right here. He's having a great first half. Another run here. Warren Sapp is doing nothing. Atwater makes the tackle, though. So we got third and goal from the 11. This is where you see I'm setting zone drops right now. Probably going 10 and 10 and just go ahead and run cover four and say check down and kick your field goal. Because, you know, I don't think this guy is uh, going to make that gutsy call to go for it. So right here, it's just. I am completely going to allow him to check down or run the ball here. As long as I hold him to three and I get the ball, we'll be feeling pretty good here. Like I said, and he just steps up. And I just cover the middle, get a sack again. He's going to kick another three. So I'm, I'm, down by th I'm down by seven. So now I'm like, I still don't realize that he's going to mix in a little man coverage with this look. I am going to a man-beating play here, looking for the post for Jefferson. We're going to go double slants as well. So we'll see. Oh, we'll do a comeback route if it's cover three. It is man coverage. Step up here. We get sacked as the pocket collapses. Now, one thing if you watch this, the outside leverage on the outside corner on the right is covering Jefferson. Now, this post is probably my best man-beating route that I have. And I put the streak to run off any deep blue so I can probably get a touchdown. But this outside leverage from the corner on the right, he low-key like doesn't really get beat that bad on this route. From the baseline. Like he's kind of beat, but not not if he was right on top of the receiver. So that's tough. Let me go to the corner route here. And you start realizing that, you know, it's just man coverage. He just wants to run baseline man. One, not only it makes it tougher to hit the sideline because all the corners are over there, 
So maybe we got to start hitting more drags. We got to start and hit more slants. Get the ball in the Devontae hands and the Jefferson's hands and make some plays uh, on some drags and some slants rather than just corner routes and out routes because the corners are out routes, really. Or the corners are out there. They're the outside. You see them. So let's start hitting Adams on his drag. Let's start hitting some shorter routes over the middle of the field. You see all drags here. Look at look at Adams right here. Catch it. Run sideways so you get away from that guy. Get out of bounds here. Clock is clock is stopped. We got to get touched. So that's what I want to start mixing in more because you see the guy who guarded Devontae Adams is 15 yards to his left. So this is just a free pitch and catch on, right dog. there. It's just no fucking way, man. A little short knockout knocked that one out though so and if i if you noticed he put a zone down on the right side here so at some point we're, once he starts putting more and more zones and we can start looking deeper down the field and oh oh, oh my god is atwater got me atwater just came out he's a little bit faster than all the other users but look how far like he's Right there, I can't lie, I kind of made my decision where I was going with the football. You see Devontae Adams is wide open, obviously, but, ah, uh, man, maybe if I let it go sooner, maybe a different free form. It's a greedy play, but, you know, sometimes you got to tip your cap to the opponent going just far enough to get back to this pass. I don't know if you guys would have thrown this B route. Maybe I got to let it go sooner. But honestly, the, the you see the safety that B is right on right now. I didn't know if he was in a yellow zone, a deep blue. I didn't know what he was going to do. So maybe I had to wait for him to clear that guy. So ultimately, it was pretty good defense, man. And I was a little bit late. Maybe if I freeformed it back to the right a little bit more. But I think he got exact. Just went as far as he could with the new Jeez. Atwater card. Oh, my God. There's no way this motherfucker put a little sooner. And Fuck. what's tough about was tough about the new cards is we haven't played against Atwater. Atwater just came out this day, this morning. So, you know, I don't know how fast he is. I'm not used to him being, you know, I'm used to people having Cam, maybe Micah Parsons, maybe uh, whoever else may be, Eric Rowe. But that Atwater was a little bit faster and taller to go get that. So the speed was a little bit different. Definitely forced that one. So now, dude, we're kind of we're kind of looking tough right now. We just had to settle for three. We threw a pick. This guy's running the ball, and as you see, he's that's the option again, but we played conservative. We're going to let him go ahead and try to milk this clock out. Hopefully, he just doesn't try to score here. As you see, it's under 30 seconds. That's that corner route defense. He has nowhere to go with the ball. 19 seconds. He's almost milking himself now. Didn't, oh, my oh, goodness. What the and he fuck? gets out of here. Big play, but Hayes actually gets oh. to him. He calls timeout. 12 seconds left. He probably... Uh, should have been a little bit more aggressive. We're going to cover this out route here. Sack. Back to the middle. We get a sack. I mean, good lurk there. You know he's looking for the quick out route here to par him. You guys see, I just play straight man covers. and want to blitz everybody. And I guarded that route, and he has nowhere else Sack. really to go. Nice. So that's pretty much going to be the end of the half. Uh, seven seconds left. I don't think he can do anything to get out of bounds. He has one timeout left. So he could throw like a streak to somebody and just get down instantly. And, you know, but we get another sack, and that's going to be the half. So we get the ball. Uh, we had two drives. We settled for three. We got lurked. So we're we're definitely this is a good Dog, game. Ain't no way. Come on, this D tackle. Kid. And we're getting sacked again. First down, second down. There's that slant to Jefferson. You can't cover him if you're across the field. So we get a first down there. Once again, we're going for this post route. We're going for a bomb. A lot of pressure. I tried to free form that right there. A little bit late. I could have hit that right over the center. Missed that pass. So. This is, I mean, it's a similar look to what we've all been playing, but the baseline makes it a little bit. I don't want to say tougher, but trickier. You know, we got to kind of run different combos. And we're right there, we dumped the ball off. Would have loved a better freeform, better animation right there. And that way, we could have got up the field. But got a couple, third and seven. Now, this is where, at the end of the day, you know, Randy Moss is still on the corner route. Randy Moss is still money on the corner route. But, boom, Jefferson, big catch in traffic, slant. I don't know how this is Jefferson is the real like, deal. He really is. Like, if you guys are, don't have him, man, he, I would put him as your number one target on your team. He's the real deal. Right here, we're going to most, try to motion block. Don't really get it going, really. So we're going to chuck the ball away. We didn't get a good seal. I want to hit this post route so bad for a free touchdown. I really do. But this baseline, man, is it's definitely tough. It's definitely giving me more looks as we come out here. Straight bench right here. Uh, luckily, he played cover four right there. It wasn't man. And Jefferson, again, just stiff arm somebody in the face. 
breaks more tackles inside down to the 21. Uh, so definitely got to think a little bit more, break out some new combos. And we're going to look for the corner route here. It's still just corner routes. We're going to go to Parham up top, just fries Randy Moss. That was a free touchdown. Come on. That one was free. At the end of the day, it's still man coverage with no zone, so your corner routes are definitely still going to eat. You got to remember that. Man, like. Nothing to overthink, really. There's nothing to overthink. Go back to what works against man. Even though it doesn't look like man pre-snap, go back to what, what works against man. Ah, ooh, good play. Carlton. Third and four. We got to make a play here. This is a short pass situation. Uh, probably, ooh, he audible's nice. I didn't really want to defend trips. Bunch, I, I don't want to say I have no problems, but a little bit more comfortable. Same thing. Quarter, deep blue. We're going to send this guy. Hit him. Fumble. Fumble. Ball, 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 ball. There's no way we don't pick that Let's up. Let's go, oh, man. On, man. Big play right there. It's just, I mean, just, just, just stop the run love that walk defense. Out walk out of here with a dub. Love this defense. Audible's the bunch. I'm going to deep, deep third to outside so no corner routes can hit me. I mean, he had the wheel route, but he doesn't want to make that read, especially the short side. <clears throat> At this point, he has nothing. I guard the running back. Send it. Fumble. There it is. So we get a turnover, back on offense now, went back to bench, and Rodgers, oh that happens to me so much, I almost want to go back to Jalen Hurts, because look at this space I have right here, like go, look at that, that's 10 yards easily with Hurts, I get out of there and get caught from behind, I fumble so much, and it's a spot where you really can't slide, so that hurts me too, there it is, underneath the Jefferson, picking up a first down, the way he's playing these short in breaking routes are going to be money. They're always going to be open. Uh, we're probably looking for Moss right here. Uh, he did a good job covering out, throw the ball away. That's what I mean, getting close rather than scrambling, throw the ball away. <clears throat> Live to play another down, second and 10. Tie ball game here. We're going to motion out the post here. Now maybe it'll work a little bit better. We'll have it if we got time. And ah, let's go, Justin. Let's go, Come man. Come on. Gritty. Now. If you watch his user, it got me scared a little bit. I wasn't going to throw it when he went, like, right there. But then he cuts back. Down. Boom. Free. Touchdown. Let's go, Justin. Great play. Frying Lester Hayes right there. Dude, so we're up seven. Like, we're up seven. If you guys saw, he's going to pop a little run here. This is the most I've been ran on in this defense. Dude, like. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like. The alignment, We're but fucking right now, dude. see, he's got 118 yards rushing. Tough man. And now, I'm taking, I'm taking the I could. I did. I put linebackers in the game. Uh, Diablo and Lawrence Taylor are playing outside linebacker now. Now, obviously, some of you guys get out of that defense. Yeah, there's probably way better defenses. Chandler Jones. Shit. You finally, yeah. There's probably way better defenses that stop the run. There probably are, and I know that. But I don't want to then weaken my pass defense. My pass defense is really good, as you see right there. So, so I'd rather try to stop the run out of my good pass defense. That way, when he does have the pass, he's going to struggle, man. You don't want to make the runner option and the pass an easier option. As we get a fourth down here. What's he going to do here? End of the third quarter. Big decision here. Fourth and seven. Could be the end of the game for him. He's going to kick. He's going to kick three. Get within four. So I'm happy now. Uh, I don't want to say we struggled, but we're definitely in a, in a good game right here. We're in a battle. So we got to go ahead and put something together. I should start this off with a run, man. A lot of times I play so much Madden that even in big games, I like I like just getting the, like, not want to say brain dead mode, but just I start playing on, on, auto, on autopilot where I'm not thinking... And uh, not, you know, playing smart, man. We got to mix in some runs here. Keep the clock running. And I think I'm going to do that right now. A little O-1 trap. You know. I play so much. And Warren Sapp just dominated it. So we get a third and five right here. Uh, we're flipped the other way here because, I, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Uh... I'm not in love with this play. Parham? Nobody? 
Rogers. Oh Ooh. my god. I don't know what I I don't know what I was really. I think I wanted Moss on this play. I think that's really what I wanted on this out route. And you see, he was like super bad. Now I didn't look at Parham. I was looking at Moss here. Parham, I probably throw this and complete it for sure. And then uh, Devontae, obviously, but his his users in the middle. And I don't want to flirt with that with a four point lead. So Moss being that bag, I thought I'd be able to sneak that quick out route on him, but he just it just didn't work. So. Got to go for this, man. You got a chance to win the game. Nothing to overthink. Run your man beater play. Quick snap. You're going to have somebody par him. Same play I could have done on last play. No, nothing to overthink. Big play. Now we should run the ball two times before we even think about passing. The clock's a factor now. One first down now, and, and this game is cooked. That's a nice. Oh, my Duh, goodness. Like, they just shed. hold these, like, for one. They just like shed a, instantly, like didn't they? I, I don't know how that wasn't a bigger run. Like, Look at that, dude. Doesn't that look like money? Oh, my. I, I think I just hit the right trigger, and this guy on the right just like... Oh, my God. That, like, just... That's Bruce Matthews, too, man. Bruce Matthews got to put him... Hold him for another second, dude. And somehow... Oh, somehow that run was only one yard, but, you know. That's what happens when I run the ball. But, like I said, go back to the same man-beating play. The same... It's man coverage. Don't overthink it. Let's see what I do here. Beautiful. Moss in the field goal range. Inbounds. Two-minute warning. Now we're going to just run the ball here. Big play. Now, right here. Now, if I could guarantee a touchdown, I would take the touchdown. Right? I would take it. But I don't know if Derrick Henry is going to score right here. So, my thought is... Because all this goes through my head instantly. I know there's a corner on the right side somewhere, right? Off the screen. The guy on the left side of the screen, Devontae Adams, is blocking. Probably will get blocked and won't be able to catch me. Micah Hyde is five yards to my left. If he gets a clean run, he'll be able to tackle me. If he gets... I don't know. So I don't think I can score a touchdown. So instead of getting the first down, what I want is second and short. That way the clock keeps running and I have an easy down to convert another first down. So what I do is I kind of swerve here to go ahead and try to get tackled before the line, but close oh. to the line. See, right here I swerve. There's that corner on the right, and Micah Hyde would have tackled me. So I don't think I score a touchdown that play, but if I get inside the 10, I can't get another first down. So I'm going to get tackled here to milk more clock. Perfect. And that's going to go second and one. So now we'll be able to milk 30 seconds off the clock right here, right? And then we'll be able to get another first down, hopefully. And that's another 30. So it's just another 30 seconds you can milk off the clock. Uh, so that was my goal right there in the middle of that play. That's all that went through my mind during that one run play. And we're going to snap this with half a second on the clock. <clears throat> and we get that first down. 30 seconds or a timeout. Perfect. Another run. Ideally, I probably should have ran quarterback sneak. That way I got to a third and one or third and inches. But I wanted to make sure I got a first down. I didn't want to mess around with kicking a field goal on fourth and one or something like that. So we're just going to run. Honestly, make sure he uses all his timeouts. Third and eight. Uh, truth be told, you're probably not going to throw for a touchdown here. So this is 100% a rundown as well. You want to... Uh, you want to use as much clock as you can here. Uh, Henry kind of fights for me. We're down to the five. So we're going to put the controller down here. Take a delay a game. It's at 40 seconds now. Had I had I quarterback sneaked and got to a third in inches on that second and one, the game would be over if I got a first down. But I played it a little bit safe, maybe did a little bit too much. But 37 seconds... That's a great point. Normally, in these situations, I want to kick... The, so, time is everything right now, right? Up by seven. I want you to return this kick. Because if you return this kick, it might take three seconds. It might take five seconds. It might take six seconds off the clock. But, I have a theme team. So, my backup safeties and linebackers are golds. Right? I have Raiders theme team. So, I have, like, more rig and... and uh, Whatchamacallit, just safeties that are slow, 78 speed. 
So you're playing with fire right now, trying to make him return this. I want, it, but that's what I want. These them four seconds matter. Every single second matters in these situations. So I want to kind of kick it left in bound or in play, not in the end zone. If I was on offense, I would let this bounce. But he's got Randy Moss, and so it went from 37 seconds to 33, and he's still at the 25 yard line. So he literally wasted four seconds for no reason there. For the chance of returning kick. Now I say I'll I'll take give me those four seconds and I'll take my chances covering a kick and it worked out. <clears throat> it worked out perfectly. So thirty three seconds. He has no timeouts. A lot of times in these situations, man, I like I, I change my defense a little bit, but now I'm just gonna kinda play the same defense. Make sure I have a lot of deep blues out there because you know I don't want anything getting over the top of my my face. Here he just tackled. I got to tackle him in bounds. Perfect. Yeah, that's be 20 seconds. And he goes and he spikes. So it start. He already wasted 20 seconds to get to the 37 yard line. So between the kickoff and that play, he's wasted 20 seconds. 17 seconds. I'm 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 looking at three deep right now. I really am. Bunch tight end. Uh, like I said, just a lot of deep blues out here. I'm gonna have. Uh, not really see there it is and that's probably a 30 yard cloud flat for any tight end streaks or tight end slants and just like that he throws the deep blue ggs that was a tough game that and i don't know i don't know if it was my fault it was a good game we gotta give chad some credit well holy shit i you know i feel like we gotta give him some credit. I mean, he played a good game. He ran the ball. He do that baseline man coverage was a little bit goofy, a little bit different. He scored some touchdowns. He got a one pass with Parham, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, we did enough to win that game. So, like I said, if you guys like these videos, please keep showing me love in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. I want to see where we're at on the battle fight. Let's see where we're at in the tournament now as we move on to the round of 32 right now. Uh, so we beat Chaz. Now we got to play up here. Cuddle Bunny 5372. And that's Civil. So I got to play Civil in the round of 32 to get to the final 16. Uh, that's going to be a good one, boys. That's going to be a good one. So like I said, get this one. Let's get this one to 1,000 likes, boys. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Show me in the comments if you guys like this style. And we're going to get Game 4 against Civil next.